Eli the electronics guy here. So I'm gonna fix this. The problem I'm having with this board is the battery pack uses these little prongs. So what I wanna try is I'm actually gonna try changing this out to a battery pack where these prongs, these little tabs are no longer used, but it's actually pre-soldered. So I'm going to see what I can do. So I'm gonna first desolder these two little tabs and see what we get. I just have to be careful uh, because that is the night vision sensor that I don't want to mess with. So I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, so ended up um, getting these little tabs desoldered from this board. So a couple things that were super handy. First off, um, definitely can't have enough flux. So always use flux when you're so desoldering stuff, uh, especially with this like copper uh, desoldering braid. Um, this stuff you really need flux. So on the board ended up getting that off of there. Now, even though it says it's no clean, I'm still going to go ahead and clean it up, but I was still having a lot of trouble getting these tabs off of there. There's a lot of heat that it can take and it was not letting that solder go. So what I ended up doing was getting this, I have uh, chip quick. It's meant for like SMD solder repair or like surface mount stuff. And it's like the solder alloy. So ended up using um, some of that and it's a really low temp and it allows you to, it stays molten for longer. So was then able to mix that in with the regular solder and then actually get in there and get that desoldered. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and then get my new, uh, battery bank. So this is what the new battery bank looks like. It's the exact same size as the other, but instead of having those funky tabs, it's got wires built onto it. So, okay. So I went ahead and got that flux cleaned off and now you can see how clean that was. It was very dirty. Even though this flux says uh, no clean flux, it just means it's not gonna corrode anything, but it still looks gross. So I still go ahead and give it a nice cleaning. So it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and solder on my battery bank. Okay, so I got it all put back together. I got my batteries here. And then down inside, you can see where I had to solder on. Originally these little tabs were sticking up out of there and then it made contact with this other little battery bank, but it was very flawed. That metal, there's not much metal for it to catch and it wasn't actually working. So now I've got this battery pack, same size, but with wires. And now if I hold the power button, unit turns on and we got night vision. So, and then I can cycle through the infrared, all the different levels, and then back to infrared off. And then you can actually see it's all working. So. It's all fixed, so pretty easy, pretty straightforward, and for about three dollars, two dollars, um, I bought actually a uh, a whole bag of battery banks. So, yeah, cool little fix.